So good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for making the time to be here. Welcome to this micro-credential webinar session. We'll officially get started soon, but first, just a few housekeeping items. Please uh, put yourself on mute if you're not talking. This will help us to minimize the background noise uh, in this learning space, online learning space. Feel free to let us know where you're joining from in the chat box. Introduce yourself. Let us know the traditional land that you are on. Uh, as you know, there are a couple of ways to interact on Zoom. You can use the, the raised hand feature to indicate that you have a question or you want to make a comment. Uh, or better yet, you can send us your, your comments and your questions in the chat box throughout the session. And we will collate them and present them to the speaker at an appropriate time. You can also uh, click on the CC button at the bottom of your screen. That's the closed captioning, captioning button. Uh, that will help enable the closed captioning on your device on demand if you wish to do so. It's important for you to know that this meeting is being recorded and anything that you type in the chat box will be saved. Um, and all participants will also receive a copy, a PDF copy of the presentation deck uh, as a link in the chat box. Okay, so let's officially get started. My name is Tommy Lam. I am the micro-credential program lead here at eCampus Ontario. I'm joined today by our guest speaker, Alexi Birolati, our co-founder and chief operating officer of BC Diploma. My colleague, Mary Gu, is also here with us to support with moderating the chat. Mary will assist with sharing some resources with you in the chat and collecting questions that you may have and sharing it with our speaker at the end of his presentation. Also with us is Lufia from our wonderful communications team to ensure that everything on the webinar back end goes smoothly. So thank you to Mary and to Lufia. Evolving from our micro-credential pilot projects, eCampus Ontario partnered with BC Diploma since 2019 to offer members an easy to adopt, low barrier technology for issuing micro-credentials. After three years of collaboration, we have seen much success from our member institutions in using BC Diploma. And this success has in turn contributed to uh, micro-credential developments across the sector. Uh, and this is why I'm so excited to welcome you to this presentation where you will hear more about the benefits of using this blockchain technology from all angles, from institutions, students, and employer and recruiters. This presentation will also include a user experience demo. If you are interested in using BC Diploma, please do reach out to me first, uh, and then we can arrange an information session or a discovery meeting to discuss the logistics of the process uh, and um, before getting you onboarded. I'm just gonna admit a few people from the waiting room because I have this pop up on my screen. Before I move further, I want to acknowledge that I'm helping to host this meeting from my home here in North York, Toronto, and that the offices of eCampus Ontario are located in downtown Toronto. Now, both North York and downtown Toronto are within the traditional territories of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabe, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Huron-Wendat people. As a settler of Chinese Vietnamese descent, I am very grateful and I feel immense privilege to have the opportunity to live, work and learn on this unceded traditional territory. Um, I recognize that this is a virtual meeting space. You may be joining us from a different traditional indigenous territory. Uh, if you're a settler, I encourage you to take some time to reflect on the land that you're on and your uh, relationship to traditional lands and your accountability to traditional lands. This session is essentially structured in two parts. We have a presentation from Alex from BC Diploma, and then we will save some time at the end for questions from the audience. Now, during this Q&A session, feel free to use the raise hand feature, or like we mentioned, you can type your questions uh, throughout the session in the chat box. I want to let you know that at eCampus Ontario, we have a suite of programs and services thoughtfully designed to support users and practitioners of micro-credentials. Uh, these are in addition to the blockchain digital credentialing that you'll hear more about in, in more details later in this presentation. If you're interested in learning more about our services, you can visit our information page. That's micro.ecampusontario.ca. And we're always just one email away. You can email me at micro at ecampusontario.ca. 
And to give you a couple of examples, we have our micro-credential portal, which currently houses over 1,700 OSAP-eligible micro-credential training programs um, that are offered at colleges, universities, and Indigenous institutes across Ontario. In 2022, we published a report in collaboration with the Diversity Institute, Magnet, and the Future Skills Centre titled The Future is Micro, outlining the opportunities uh, and gaps um, and also where we might be heading in terms of micro-credentials in uh, Ontario, but also in Canada more broadly. Uh, it's an excellent report and it includes research with all the institutions, learners, and employers involved in the micro-credential pilot projects that took place in 2020 and 2021. I encourage you to read that report if you have time and if you share an interest in micro-credential and the future of education. We also have our micro-credential toolkit. Uh, and actually, I want to let you know that we are in this stage now where we are soliciting feedback for this toolkit, which was published for the first time in uh, spring of 2022. Most of you know this toolkit to be a digital or print resource uh, that provides insights onto how to navigate the opportunities and challenges of designing and developing micro-credentials uh, at a post-secondary institution. It contains practical tips, diagrams, and real-world examples from practitioners who have successfully implemented micro-credentials um, at colleges, universities, and Indigenous institutes in Ontario. Uh, the content is guided by the three themes of structure, collaboration, and recognition. If you are an institutional member and if you have recently worked on a micro-credential project, uh, if you're working on one right now, or if you know that you will be working on one, we invite you to leverage this toolkit as a resource uh, and provide us with your feedback. Uh, in fact, we're going to put the link for this toolkit uh, as well as the toolkit survey in the chat box for you. You can also access the toolkit, the digital version of it, by scanning the QR code that's on this slide. Uh, as well, I want to remind you, if you haven't done so already, please remember to register for our upcoming micro-credential forum. Uh, it's an event that will span across three half days. That's March 1st in person at the Globe and Mail Center, downtown Toronto, and March 2nd and 3rd uh, online. Sorry, I'm not sure if I said the dates right. That's March 1st in person at the Globe and Mail Center uh, and March 2nd and 3rd online. The forum will bring together education and industry leaders, uh, and they will all come together to kind of mine the implications of what it means to create pathways for jobs. And they will highlight the important linkages between the labor market and micro-credentials. You can register uh, by scanning the QR code on this slide, uh, but the registration link for it will also be in the chat box. Ecampus Ontario also now has a, a general events page where you can visit often to kind of see uh, our full collection uh, of Ecampus Ontario events at a glance. Um, the link for that will also be uh, in the chat box. Now I want to introduce our speaker, Alex Spirilotti began his career in the field of audiovisual production as a studio director. Uh, when Greenwee's e-commerce leader of organic products in France was created, he joined them as chief operating officer. Alex enhanced his skills with a focus on IT and became an IT consultant in the world of higher education. At ESCP Europe, he perfected his knowledge of the international academic world, working with a software publisher specialized in the management of faculty data from the best institutions in the world. The data was collected and processed to prepare uh, things like accreditation reports. As a connoisseur of the academic world and major international accounts, he contributed to the creation of BC Diploma, which he joined um, on a full-time basis as Chief Operating Officer. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna stop sharing my screen and I'm going to invite Alex to share his screen, introduce himself more fully, and get his presentation started. So over to you, Alex. Thank you 
sorry, uh, my micro was muted. Uh, Tommy, thank you so much for this great introduction about uh, eCampus Ontario, about our uh, mutual pilot project. Uh, we are running in collaboration with you. Um, and I think I don't need to introduce myself more than you did. Uh, you, you told everything, but uh, uh, indeed, I am Alexis, the co-founder and chief operation officer of BC Diploma Company. Uh, I just want to thank you a lot, uh, all of you, to participate to this session. So just a few words about uh, BC Diploma. Uh, we are a French company. I am French. I am based in the uh, south of France. Uh, and I am once again really happy to get this opportunity uh, to give you today a maximum of insights regarding our micro-credentialing solution. And you'll see at the end of the presentation that we also offer additional products that may interest your institution. So I will, track, I will try to make things uh, clear and easy to understand, uh, as easy as our solution is. Uh, my objective is to share with you the ease of view of BC Diploma solution to issue your micro-credentials. So the agenda of my presentation. Uh, first, I will talk about uh, your institution, uh, about your internal processes to issue micro-credentials. Uh, so I will explain to you how to build your micro-credential templates, how to issue your, your uh, micro-credentials to your students. Uh, then I will briefly explain the benefits uh, for your students, for your learners uh, to, to receive uh, uh, micro-credentials you would issue to them. And also another persona that is, of course, important, the employers, the recruiters. Uh, I will explain how uh, easy it is to, to, to check uh, the micro-credentials authenticity. And I will conclude with, uh, with uh, some extra stuff. <laughs> So let's go for the institution journey, uh, how you could use BC Diploma to issue uh, micro-credentials. So uh, I will demo the product in a few minutes, but I want to, to let you know first that BC Diploma, once again, is super easy to use. Uh, you will be totally autonomous uh, to create and to manage your micro-credential templates. Uh, so you have all the latitude to create the, the, the templates of your micro-credentials for your programs, for your courses, for any uh, piece of learning you want to, uh, to, to send a micro-credential for your students. Uh, so you are totally autonomous in the platform to, to build your templates and to issue your micro-credentials. Once you created your micro-credentials templates, uh, the second step would be to import the student data. And here, uh, same thing, we are flexible and we allow you to use our backend web application. I will demo this uh, web application uh, in, a, in a minute. But you have also, of course, the possibility to import the student data uh, by interfacing BC Diploma through API. And because BC Diploma is an easy to use solution, uh, the interface, the development of the connector also is an easy step for you. Um, you will see that. Uh, we allow you to, to, to construct, to build your template the way you want in terms of content. Uh, and we, have, we offer also the possibility to brand uh, the, the, the micro-credential templates uh, regarding the design with your font, with your colors uh, that will match with your visual identity, with your brand guidelines. Uh, and you will see that, of course, BC Diploma backend application offers uh, additional services such as an integrating mailing feature to issue the credentials to your students. Uh, and we have also the possibility to revoke access to a micro-credential if we need to revoke a micro-credential. So uh, this is the basic schema explaining how to use BC Diploma uh, once you integrated the solution with, in this example, uh, a learning management system. So this is one use case, but once again, you can imagine any interface with any of your inform information system applications, uh, such as your, uh, your SIS or any, uh, any other application. Uh, anyway, in this use case, uh, if you want to integrate BC Diploma with your learning management system, we can imagine this situation in which a student completes a course on your learning management system and obtains a micro certification. Uh, from the learning management system, 
automatically once the, the, the course has been completed, completed, this information is sent to BC Diploma platform uh, from, the, from the LMS to BC Diploma through API. BC Diploma will generate the micro credential automatically and automatically you can decide either to issue the micro credential via email to the recipient, uh, but you can also decide to get back the micro credential link in your own information system, maybe to make it available in the student personal web page of your student information system. So this is only one example of all the interfaces you can imagine with BC Diploma Platform. Once you issued your micro credentials to your students, uh, we offer you the possibility to track uh, the use of your uh, micro credentials, of course. And this may be interesting and important for your institution, uh, just to monitor and to evaluate the success uh, of your project. So here you have a, a number of insights, a number of facts, but uh, actually, of course, you can track uh, how many times a micro credential has been consulted, in which part of the world the, the micro credentials are consulted, on which social networks uh, the student shared uh, the micro credential, etc. And of course, you can build some specific views uh, by micro credential template, by social network, etc. etc. So we give you this possibility to track really uh, finally your, uh, your micro credentials. So now let's uh, have a look at the micro credentials from the student, from the recipient view. Um, we are deeply convinced at BC Diploma team that uh, to make your micro credentialing project a success, uh, the students need to adopt uh, uh, the, the micro credential. So it's one thing to, to issue a micro credential to a recipient, but uh, this is not uh, the objective. The objective is that the student, the recipient, will share uh, the micro certification on social networks, on the LinkedIn profile, etc. It will give access, it will showcase uh, the micro credential. So it's really a, a daily uh, reflection in our team uh, to, uh, to think about how could we improve uh, and facilitate the life of the student to share uh, the micro credential. Mm -hmm. So this is one view uh, of the sharing features of BC Diploma micro certifications. Uh, so you have a button from the micro, uh, micro credential allowing to access these sharing features. Uh, so you see, we, you have an add to LinkedIn profile button. So if you click on this button in a single click, you will open your LinkedIn profile with a window to uh, to add your micro certification on your LinkedIn profile that will be pre pre pre-populated, sorry, uh, with all the micro certification information, the title of the micro credential, the, the, the months and the year of obtention, the issuing organization name, the credential link, so that the student just have to click on the link, uh, the button on this, uh, on this screen, uh, and validate uh, the, the add of the, the experience on his LinkedIn profile. So in two clicks, you will add your micro certification on your LinkedIn profile. Thanks to our technology, uh, so BC Diploma stands for blockchain technology. I will talk, of course, about our technical approach and how do we use the blockchain technology. Uh, but here I want to say that thanks to our approach, uh, your micro certifications will be valid for life and accessible for life for the student. So this is really an innovative service you will bring to your students, uh, innovative and really convenient service. Uh, so your student will be really confident in their micro certifications and they will have the possibility to share and to prove the authenticity uh, of their micro certification with no time limits. We'll see also later in the presentation, at the end of the presentation, that uh, you can stack uh, the micro certifications in a pathway, and even we can build a final certificate allowing to access the different parts of this certificate of this uh, learning program with all the micro certifications. Uh, the last uh, persona of uh, my presentation will be the <coughs> sorry the recruiters the, the the employers. So I think we all know that micro credentials are 
taking more and more space in the education uh, industry. Uh, so employers love the micro certifications because uh, they tend to be the, the, the exact reflect of uh, the, the candidate capacities and skills. So we all know that uh, micro credentials become more and more important. Uh, so we are happy to facilitate uh, the life of the employers. Uh, we also uh, think that thanks to our technical approach and the security of our blockchain micro credentials, uh, it facilitates uh, the tasks of the employers because in a single click they can check the authenticity of the certificate, uh, the identity of the issuing organization, and all this information is totally certified and accessible directly on the blockchain. And this is really easy for the for the employers to consult a micro credential, a BC diploma micro credential, because in a single click on the micro certification link, you will display the micro certification. So just a word regarding the verification process. Uh, on each micro credential, you have a button to access the proofs of authenticity. So here I just want to make a little stop uh, to talk about BC diploma technical approach. Um, so we use the blockchain technology and we use it uh, in a unique technical approach face to other solutions that may use the blockchain technology because we will take your micro certifications data, we will encrypt this uh, micro credential data very strongly, so we patented uh, our encryption algorithm and we will put on chain your encrypted data. So your data referential will become the blockchain and it brings a lot of benefits. Uh, the main one would be the verification process. So when you click on this button, you open the verification panel in which you will find all the information allowing you to check by yourself, step by step, the identity of the issuing inf uh, institution, uh, but also all the credential data that, the, that has been certified and registered in a blockchain transaction. So here we try to, to be as transparent as possible and to give access easily to, uh, to this information for the, for the people that will consult the digital credentials. So please uh, keep in mind that our digital credentials are totally secured, very sustainable. So thanks a lot for this first part of the presentation. Uh, so let's go for the demo. I will quit my slides and I will open uh google chrome so it's not this one this one here okay so maybe first uh, i can describe quickly uh our micro certifications so of course we are totally compliant with uh open badges standards with all the uh the the, the mandatory data uh, making that uh, you can share your micro credentials on any backpack any portfolio application uh, so you see, this is a, my, a BC Diploma micro certification. This is the link of the micro credential. Okay, so with BC Diploma, uh, the final object of a micro credential is just a link, just a URL. And we know that there is nothing more easy than uh, sharing a link on a social network, on a LinkedIn profile, uh, to send a link via email, etc. And in a single click on this link, you will access the micro certification. So the user experience is really easy. Uh, this is also an important topic for us to facilitate the life of uh, the student, but also the recruiters. So for the recipient of the micro credential, you don't need to download uh, a wallet application, even if we offer this service, but uh, the micro credential can exist uh, in a standalone object, okay? Uh, so the link of the micro certification, the sharing button here, so you see in a single click, you open the sharing features. So you click here and in a single click, you open LinkedIn to add your experience on your LinkedIn profile. So I can demo that even if I want to uh, add this information because it's a demo uh, micro credential. But you see in a single click, I can open this uh, pop-up window in LinkedIn in which I will find the title of my micro certification, the issuing organization name, the month, the date of obtention, and my micro credential link. And I just need to click on the save button, and that's it. I added uh, my uh, my micro credential on my LinkedIn profile. 
You can also download and copy or copy and paste the QR code of the of the micro credential if you want to add this QR code uh, on your CV, for instance, uh, so that the, the 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 employer just have to scan the QR code to go back to this web version. You can copy the link. You have instant access uh, to uh, to share your uh, your uh, micro certification on social networks so in a single click on this button you will create a post on your twitter facebook on linkedin account so you see uh, it's really easy for the for the recipient for the micro credential owner and this is the proofs button if i click on this button i will open uh, the proofs panel in which i can uh, check various information regarding the micro credential so I won't go too much in detail here, uh, but you can check the identity of the issuing institution either on the blockchain, uh, because each uh, issuing institution in BC Diploma has its own public uh, blockchain address. So you can track and you can check that this micro credential has been issued by this issuer. Uh, you can check also information about the issuing institution on our institutional website. Uh, and what more, here you have all the data of the micro-credential that has been encrypted and stored in a blockchain transaction. And you can even click on this view on blockchain link to access uh, the blockchain ledger and on the third party website and check uh, the blockchain transaction. <clears throat> okay, so this is an example of a micro-certification. So if I go back to my LinkedIn profile or any uh, any uh, profile that contains BC Diploma micro credential or digital credential links. When you add your micro certification, your micro credential on your LinkedIn profile, you won't see the long URL, uh, the ugly URL of the micro credential, but it will create this kind of uh, information with the logo of your micro certification and the, tit the title and the baseline of your micro credential. You can add your micro credentials anywhere in your LinkedIn profile categories. So if I continue to scroll in my LinkedIn profile, in your licenses and certifications, you can also find uh, other micro certifications. Uh, and if I want to consult the micro credential itself, I just have to, to click on this button, see or show credential. I quit LinkedIn and I can consult the micro credential itself. So you see, it's really uh, easy and seamless. OK, so this is the final result, uh, our BC Diploma micro credentials. Let me now show you uh, how to build uh, and to issue your micro credentials. Uh, so this is BC Diploma backend application, sorry. Uh, and this is our demonstration environment. So here I am connected at Liston University account, OK? Um, so, uh, quickly, uh, when you log in BC Diploma Platform, you access your Templates tab. In your Templates tab, you will find all the micro-credential templates you built uh, yet. And I can open, for instance, this Blockchain Expert template by clicking on the, on the picture. So it opens a new tab. And you see, this is my new, uh, this is my, uh, my micro-credential template. Uh, I will show you uh, how to create a new micro-credential template. But here, the template is interesting because uh, I can show you all the parameters we can import to generate uh, and to create a micro-credential. So you see, I highlight in yellow the beginning of each parameter you need to import uh, to generate a micro-credential. So the first name, the last name of the student, the obtention date of the micro-credential. And we have also optional categories available, such as the expiration date. So you can set up an expiration date for your micro-certifications. This is not mandatory. Uh, if you don't import an expiration date, we will add automatically this label. And also in the assessment category, in addition of the content of the assessment you define at the template level, uh, you can import specific assessment information for each student in your import file. And you can also add a link uh, maybe to a personal portfolio, a YouTube video, or any other web page um, the student built to obtain the micro-credential. 
So this is the template, okay? Uh, and if I want to build a new template, I just have to click on this new micro credential link uh, button here in the top right corner of my screen. First step is to select the language or the languages uh, I want to build my uh, micro credential template in. So you see, we uh, support multilingual templates. Uh, we currently uh, offer the five, these five different languages, but it's really easy to build a multilingual uh, micro credential. And maybe uh, in Canada, this may be relevant to, uh, to build uh, English and French micro credentials. Okay. Um, so you select your languages, you click on the next button here. And here, maybe you can recognize the layout of our micro certifications. You just need to fill this information, the title of your micro credential. You will upload uh, a badge picture. So you are responsible for building and creating your pictures. So this is really flexible. Uh, the issuing body name, you can edit this name. You can add some, uh, some partners information that participate to the obtention of the badge. So industry partners, other uh, schools, etc. And in the right block, you will define the outcomes of your, uh, of your micro credential, the competencies that has been obtained, and the earning criteria, the assessment of, uh, to obtain the micro credential. You click on the next button, and that's it. In one minute, uh, you can build a new micro credential template. So back to the templates list. Uh, let's say I want to issue uh, new blockchain expert micro credentials. So to do that, I need to import uh, the student data. So because we are working from the from the web application, uh, I need to import an Excel spreadsheet that contains this data. So I prepared a test set here. I will uh, share with you before importing this file. So uh, the import file is really easy to understand. We have two technical columns. Uh, ID and email. This is information that won't be displayed on the micro credential itself. Uh, a unique ID. Okay, so you can use your own internal IDs for your students, of course. We have no limitation. Uh, we support uh, alpha numerical uh, codifications. The email of the student, in case you want to send uh, the micro credential by email from BC Diploma Platform once you generated your micro credentials. After the three yellow columns are the mandatory information, the first name, the last name, and the obtention date of the micro credential. And after we have optional categories, optional information. So I told you about the expiration date of the micro certification. Uh, the specific assessment information you can add in addition to the assessment information you defined at the, the, the template level. And you can add also a link. So this is a dummy data, of course. Uh, you can name the link, personal website, and you indicate the, the URL of the link. So this is my test import file. I can close it now. And uh, when I want to, to, to generate my three micro credentials, I just have to click on this new campaign button here uh to find my excel spreadsheet uh, that is uh, saved on my desktop so i select it i open it i have here access to all the data of my excel spreadsheet so this is a control screen okay and when i'm fine with my data i can click on the publish button and i just need to confirm my action by writing the word publish in capital letters I can now uh, finalize the operation. I click on the publish button and that's it. Okay. So here uh, we are encrypting your data, putting your encrypted data on the blockchain, and we are generating a link for each of your micro credentials. So we can now access the, the, the report. In this report, uh, you will find all the data you imported in your Excel file. And now we can access the uh, micro certifications. So I will maybe open the two first ones by clicking this uh, small eye icon. So this one and this one. Sorry, I will de-zoom a little bit. Okay, here. 
Okay, so the first one, John. Uh, so this is a John Doe uh, micro credential. You see that you can find the expiration date here. Uh, so uh, just a, a detail here. In case you set up an expiration date for the micro credential, if you try to consult the micro credential uh, after the expiration date, you will access an error page indicating that you cannot access anymore the micro credential. And you see here. Uh, we have the specific information we put in our import file, so John specific assessments, and also uh, the personal website link, so I can click on it to access the link. Okay. Uh, so this is a John's micro credential. When Alan's micro credential doesn't display any expiration date, and we have no the specific assessment information because uh, we didn't indicate that in the Excel file. So uh, you, I hope you enjoyed the ease of use of the platform. From the report, you can export your links easily in an Excel spreadsheet. You can also select the links here. You can select all the, link, the links or just a few of them. And you can uh, export the PDF version. You can send uh, the links by email to your recipients. So here, uh, you can configure your mailing campaign with the subject, the sender name. You can use your own email addresses uh, to send the, the links to your students. We can also configure your email template according to your uh, specifications with your visual identity, your banners, your fonts, your colors, uh, your own content, of course. We can personalize the email uh, by saying hello, first name, or uh, any anything so we can really configure your own email templates so that your students your learners will receive an email from the school with your uh, email addresses uh, and the, the email will look like other emails other communications uh, sent to the to the student so you can really work in a white label environment uh, for your students it's really convenient you can also, uh, to conclude the demo, manage your links. So in case you are facing an issue with a link, maybe there's a mistake uh, on the micro-credential in the data you imported, it's really easy in a single click to delete uh, certificates, okay? So in a single click, you will uh, delete access to your micro-credentials. You can also deactivate access to a micro-credential in case you need to, to, to do some verifications. And here you have the possibility to reactivate access to the micro credential. So this is it for a quick demo. You have uh, some administration features, of course, available to manage the list of users, etc. You will access the API keys, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So thanks a lot for your attention. I will go back to my uh, slides now to conclude the my presentation. So. Uh, Let's talk about the benefits uh, to adopt by adopting a BC Diploma solution in your uh, micro-credential project. You saw that uh, our micro-credentials can be uh, designed uh, according to your specifications, and you can use optional uh, categories to build micro-credential templates that will match uh, with your business needs. Uh, you see that it's great uh, when you consult a micro credential on your uh, on LinkedIn profiles, for instance. Uh, so you will uh, improve uh, your brand visibility on social networks, and we know that this is also important uh, for uh, academic institutions. Um, so that you have a lot of uh, tracking features available to monitor the use of your micro credentials um, over uh, over the time. And I hope also that you understood uh, the, the maximum security sustainability uh, of uh, BC Diploma micro-credentials thanks to our uh, approach and the way we use the blockchain technology. Uh, I will also talk uh, at the end about uh, the onboarding process to jump in the project, uh, but I want now to maybe uh, expand uh, the topic uh, maybe to other types of micro credentials, uh, other types of digital credentials, sorry. Maybe your institution is uh, exploring the micro credentials, but also digital credentials that can be any type of digital attestations. Uh, 
such uh, an attestation of degree, attestations of enrollment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, I just want to share with you that BC Diploma is not only a micro credential solution, but it's a digital credential solution. So here. Uh, you have a sample of uh, digital credentials. Uh, we have the possibility to build uh, bespoke, tailor-made uh, templates for your certificates. And here we have absolutely no limit in terms of design, in terms of content. So we will work with your specifications. And you see a quick sample of different uh, templates. So the content is totally free. We can display uh, a date of and a place of birth for your students, some grades, some specializations, options, program names. Uh, we don't have any limits. Uh, and you, I hope you also enjoy the design that are really differ different. Uh, we can do anything uh, with, uh, with custom credentials. So this is maybe important also for you to have this information. We have also the possibility, and this is a very interesting, uh, to link and to stack uh, different micro-credentials in one main certificate. So the idea here, you can build a learning pathway. And once the student obtained all the micro-credential uh, composing the, the, the program, the student can receive a final certificate that is a BC Diploma digital credential. It works exactly the same way than the micro-credentials. And here you have a button pathway that will open uh, the, the, the pathway panel in which you will find all the micro credentials uh, composing the final certificate. And of course, in a single click, you will consult all the different micro credentials that are part of this final certificate. So here it's really uh, fun, exciting and interesting to think about a learning pathway that can be uh, reproduced and produced as digital credentials. So this is really a, an interesting uh, product we offer. And the last one uh, is the wallet application. Uh, in case you want to send the micro credential to your students in a wallet application, we offer a total, uh, totally blockchain wallet. It's an online wallet, uh, totally secured, that will be accessible for free for the student. And it opens a lot of um, possibilities for the student because he can uh, store in the wallet um, digital credentials coming from different origins. Uh, and it's a really convenient product and service for the student to manage uh, all the micro credentials, all the digital credentials in a single place. OK, as a conclusion, uh, I want to talk about the micro credential pilot we offer in collaboration with eCampus Ontario. So in case you want uh, to test BC Diploma, uh, I, don't, I can't remember if, uh, if Tommy told about uh, the, the terms of the pilot project, but for your information, you can uh, use BC Diploma uh, in uh, this uh, pilot project uh, for free. There won't be any cost for you. Um, so if you want to test BC Diploma, please contact eCampus Ontario team. Uh, they will make an introduction with our team. And the next steps will be super easy. We will send you an onboarding form uh, asking you some information regarding your institution. Uh, once we receive your uh, onboarding form submission, uh, it takes usu usually uh, three to four working days to create your institution's account in BC Diploma platform. And once your instance of BC Diploma is ready, we get in touch with you to schedule a, a user's training session. Sorry. It's a one hour uh, remote session. And right after the user's session, you have access to your test and your production platform, and you can start working with BC Diploma. So in only two weeks, you will be live. Uh, and you will have the possibility to start issuing micro certifications to your students. So thanks a lot for your attention. I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, my presentation, the ease of use uh, of BC Diploma platform, the security of our digital credentials. And I hope uh, I will hear from you in the next uh, uh, few weeks uh, to, to start the project. So thanks a lot for your attention. Thanks a lot, uh, Tommy and uh, eCampus Ontario team uh, for your collaboration. And we have 15 minutes for a Q&A session 
I hope we have some questions. Thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you so much, Alex, for that demo and that insightful presentation. I believe we have a few questions. Mary, I know you're collecting a few. Uh, did you want to go first? Hi, Tommy. Thanks. Just a minute. Let me grab that up. We have a couple in the chat. Um, why don't I start reading those aloud? And then we have a couple more here as well. So the first question I see is, if it uses blockchain, doesn't it disclose all users' information publicly? Um, not really, because uh, thank you for this, uh, this question, Phil. Um, I tried to, to explain uh, during my presentation that uh, the data we put on chain is encrypted data. Okay, so you can really not uh, decrypt this data with our uh, encryption keys. Uh, so as long as the student doesn't dis uh, share his link, uh, he can't access the data. So maybe you will access the blockchain transaction, but it's encrypted data. It's uh, one and zero and one and zeros. So um, the property of the micro-credential data is the recipient property ownership. Um, if the student receives uh, a micro-credential link and decides not to share the link, the data will remain totally private. But of course, as soon as the, the recipient decides to share uh, his micro-credential link on so social networks, uh, well, the data becomes public. Uh, so, so this is the way BC Diploma works. So thanks a lot. I hope I bring... Uh, uh, a clarification for you, Phil. I have a follow-up question to that. I noticed that your uh, BC Diploma mentions that they work to protect the right to be forgotten. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sorry, excuse me? Uh, I'm curious to hear about how BC Diploma protects the right to be forgotten. Ah, yes, of course, of course. So this is also an interesting question. Sorry, uh, maybe I will share again my screen here. Uh, of course, so, uh, just uh, for uh, the anecdote, uh, you have to know that that uh, we, uh, with my co-founders, when we decided uh, to build BC Diploma back in 2017, uh, GDPR regulation was coming in the next few months in Europe. Uh, so this is a really uh, restrictive regulation protecting the data of uh, individuals. So we built BC Diploma framework in our lawyer's uh, office. Uh, with a specialist uh, about uh, private data topics. Uh, so the right to be forgotten can be implemented really easily uh, in BC Diploma platform. So maybe I will go back to, uh, to BC Diploma backend application on my screen. Uh, where is it? Here. Uh, in case a student contacts the institution uh, because uh, he wants to uh, use his right to be forgotten. You, as the school administrator, just have to select the micro-credential link to delete it here. So delete, delete the certificate, okay. And what happens here? Uh, we know that the data that has been stored on the blockchain is immutable. This is the strongness, the main interest of the blockchain is that once you put data on chain, on the blockchain, you can never delete or uh, modify this information. So we won't have the possibility to delete the encrypted data, but the data is encrypted. What happens when you delete from your backend application the certificate, the micro-credential? In uh, reality, you will delete encryption keys allowing to decrypt the encrypted data. So this is the way we uh, we respect the right to be forgotten, and this is why we are compliant with all the private data regulations. Thank Great. you for the question. Um, also curious, uh, we see here, uh, can credentials only be issued to your wallet or are they interoperable with other wallet solutions of the student's choice? Thank you for this question, uh, Anna. Uh, our digital credentials and micro-credentials are totally compatible with any, um, any uh, wallet, any backpack, any portfolio, of course. So once again, we are totally compliant with uh, uh, standards, open badges uh, standards in particular. Uh, and interoperability is a, is a cent central topic uh, in our tech team, of course. So um, we are constantly watching the evolution of the standards 
performance uh, in terms of interoperability. And I confirm that you can put a BC Diploma micro credential in a, I don't know, in a Badger backpack, uh, in an uh, open, open badge uh, uh, passport uh, portfolio, for instance. Uh, and I know we are, of course, aware about uh, ERIC uh, initiative in Canada. So uh, we are compliant also with, uh, with this uh, system. So then on related to that, since you mentioned the work on compliance, when there are changes with uh, your work, is it released to the, your, um, uh, your, your clients? How does sort of things like this get shared out to your customers? Uh, we uh, regularly update our application. Uh, so each time we have a new release of the application, uh, we are totally transparent. We explain all the evolutions in our knowledge base uh, we have a, a category about the versions of the application. And here you can consult in detail all the improvements, all the changes uh, we add to the, to the solution. Mm. That, and this might be just my own um, ignorance on how this works, but so please bear with me. Uh, but I'm curious. So when there are changes to the application, uh, does this require additional work on the client side to in order to uh, to work with the system or is it pushed through directly? Uh, when we, we, we bring evolutions to our platform, do you mean? Mm -hmm. Yes, when you, yes. No, 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 no. Our application uh, uh, is uh, constantly evolving. So we bring additional mm -hmm. services, additional features, etc. We correct uh, some bugs because uh, this is also the real life. But uh, each uh, client benefits uh, all the evolutions. Okay, BC Diploma is a standard solution. So once we decide to, to, to bring an evolution to the platform, all users will benefit this evolution. Amazing. Um, another question I have here is, uh, is the data decrypted by your website? Can it be verified independently? Yes, so independence is a very uh, is another keyword for us, of course. Um, so the data is not decrypted by our website, but by our uh, technical stack. So I won't uh, go too much in uh, technical details, but uh, I will be happy to open a discussion uh, with you, Phil, uh, to, to, to go more in detail. So feel free to, uh, to get my contact. Maybe I can put my uh, email address in the chat uh, at the end of the meeting. But uh, we have uh, uh, different layers in our application. So we have a smart contract deployed on the blockchain. And this is maybe the central piece of our application because our smart contract will uh, check the validity of the certificate when you want to access a digital credential. It will check uh, that all the encryption keys are valid, uh, etc. And if everything's okay, you can decrypt um, the digital credential. So we have, uh, once again, uh, uh, some pieces of the application deployed that allows to decrypt the data on chain only if all the parameters are valid and only if you have the rights to decrypt this information. Mm. I put uh, in my in a Zoom uh, chat my email address. So feel free to, to contact me to continue the discussion, maybe in a one-to-one -one meeting, if you want uh, detail about uh, technical topics. Thank you. Awesome. Great. I have another question here. Um, you mentioned how quickly that you can get set up on uh, BC Diploma, but if an institution is currently using another platform and they want to switch, um, how does that transition look like? What are the implications of timelines and data transfer? Okay, so uh, maybe we would need to sit around the table and uh, to analyze uh, the, the current situation in the institution. Uh, but I would say that uh, all the credentials that has been issued with a different platform, I hope will continue to remain accessible. And uh, I, I don't see any interaction because, between uh, a previous uh, solution and BC Diploma solution. Okay. okay. At the first glance, I would say, okay, you can stop to use the current uh, credentials solution and just uh, starting using BC Diploma solution. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just thinking about something really important by uh, getting all these questions. I'd like just to highlight uh, the fact that if you decide to, to adopt a BC Diploma, you are totally independent beyond us as a services provider. Uh, behind that, I want to say that we can start a collaboration today or this year. Uh, you will use BC Diploma maybe during five or 10 years. 
And let's say you want to stop using BC Diploma in five years. Uh, I want to, uh, to, to, to ensure you that, of course, all the digital credentials you will issue during our collaboration period will continue to remain accessible with no time limit after we stopped the collaboration, the commercial collaboration. So this is also important uh, to be known. Uh, you are totally independent beyond us as a services provider. It Thank sounds you. like the team has really thought through the full experience with BC Tenoma. <laughs> indeed, indeed. But the truth is that uh, to date, uh, no institution who decided to work with us decided to stop the collaboration. So we are super happy because our customers uh, like the solution. Amazing. Um, I have one more question here. Uh, I noticed that uh, that we have on this uh, admin portal, there's dashboards and templates. Does that mean that there is various uh, analytics and what are the analytics that are available? Uh, okay, so this is interesting and uh, thank you for asking, asking the question. So uh, maybe I can show you the dashboard. Uh, the dashboard is pretty uh, simple and we don't have a lot of information in our dashboard. Why is that? Uh, because this is our philosophy at BC Diploma. We, by default, we don't want to track your certificates mm. because this is not our job. Uh, and we know that uh, some uh, institutions, some territories uh, are really careful with uh, information tracking on the web. Okay, so by default, we will just give you basic information such as uh, your templates use, how many certificates has been uh, used with your templates, uh, how many certificates has been issued, emails sent, et cetera, et cetera. But we won't give you access to any additional information in our uh, native dashboard. But uh, what I told during the first slides of my presentation is that you can use your own tracking applications to track the use of uh, your digital credentials. So to do that, in case you are using, for instance, uh, Matomo or Google Analytics, you just have to send us your trackers IDs. We will integrate your tracker IDs in uh, your templates. And at this moment, you can start tracking your digital credentials from your analytics platform and not from BC Diploma. So this is uh, important to, to, uh, uh, to precise that uh, by default, we don't want to track uh, your uh, digital credentials because this is not uh, our activity and it brings a lot of, um, of uh, legal uh, topics. So we don't want to, to go in that, but uh, we give you the possibility to track anything you want to track from your analytics platforms. Amazing, thank you so much. I think those are all the questions that we received. Um, if there's anything else, Alex has kindly uh, provided his uh, email there for more in-depth and technical discussions. I'll hand it over to you, Tommy. Yeah, thank you so much, Alex and Mary. I'm not seeing any other questions as well. It's 1.59. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a, a PDF link in the chat. That's a copy of the presentation deck that we presented here today. Uh, I noticed that a few folks joined us late. Um, please note that this meeting is being recorded and we'll share with you the recording link uh, once it's available. Other than that, uh, you have the micro-credential email, you have Alex's email, and um, Mary is also going to post in the chat the, a link to join our Slack channel where as a micro-credential community, we can remain connected uh, and share our interesting ideas and topics and news uh, at, uh, in an asynchronous way. Other than that, have a good rest of your Friday and enjoy your long weekend ahead, everyone. Take care. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.